Uber announcing late today its company was hacked. And what's even more alarming about this is that they knew about it, but didn't say anything. Massive cyber breach that exposed the user data, including email, phone numbers, and addresses. In September 2022, Uber, one of the world's biggest tech companies, was hacked, but this wasn't the work of advanced malware or zero-day exploits. This breach started with a simple text message. This is the story of how social engineering brought down a tech giant. Welcome to Door. It began with MFA fatigue, a technique where attackers flood an employee's phone with login requests. An Uber contractor received repeated two-factor authentication prompts. Annoyed and tired, they eventually hit accept. Then came the message, hi, this is IT, I'm helping with your access issues, please confirm. The attacker wasn't IT, they were pretending and it worked. They gained access to the VPN, from there the real damage began. Once inside, the hacker moved fast. They discovered admin credentials stored in PowerShell scripts. Those credentials unlocked. Uber's internal Slack, AWS, Google Workspace, HackerOne reports, and the company's psychotic PAM system, which controls privileged access. The hacker announced the breach in Uber's own Slack. I am a hacker and Uber has suffered a data breach. Screenshots went viral. The attacker claimed to be just 18 years old, possibly affiliated with the Lapsus Group, the same crew linked to breaches at Microsoft, Samsung, and Nvidia. There was no ransom. This wasn't about money. It was about showing how easy it was to break in. And they were right. Uber acted quickly. They disabled internal tools, rotated credentials, and launched an investigation, but the damage was already done. Sensitive vulnerability reports from HackerOne were exposed, internal communications were leaked, and the company faced heavy criticism for storing admin credentials in plain text. The breach showed that even the best-funded companies can fall to basic human manipulation. This wasn't a technical exploit, it was a psychological one. No exploit kit, no malware, just clever manipulation and poor internal hygiene. The Uber hack proved that social engineering is one of the most dangerous tools in a hacker's arsenal. This was the Uber hack, not a flaw in the code, but a flaw in trust. Subscribe to Door for more real world cyber stories and the human lessons behind them.